Hi everybody, it's Allison DeBona. I'm a first soloist with Ballet West in the United States. And I also co-own and direct Art Emotion with my husband, Rex Stilton. He's a principal with Ballet West. Um, I'm really honored to be asked by Zerly to teach you guys today. Um, we're all <laughs> in this crazy situation. And I just wanna say that I am proud of everybody that I've been seeing online staying home still trying to keep their bodies in shape and their minds in shape for when we finally get to uh, get back on stage together and in the rehearsals together. And um, I know it can be hard some days, but there's been an amazing community built around all of us dancers and artists from around the world. And I'm just so impressed. And I just wanna say thank you guys, um, cause it's important for us all to, to be doing our part and staying home. So um, for my stay home workout for Zerly, I thought it would be a cool idea to maybe go through five or six really simple point exercises that you guys can do at home. So um, yes, I'm a professional ballet dancer. I'm a first soloist with Ballet West. My body is important to me. I have to keep in shape, but I also have a one-year-old. His name is Ajax. He's totally insane. He's a maniac. Um, and like I said, I run a business, Art Emotion, with my husband. So even though we're home all day, I actually find it hard to find time for myself to keep um, up what I need to be doing so that when we get back into rehearsals, we are ready to go. So um, I started doing this thing. I've, I've designed like a 15-minute bar that I just fly through um, for my cardio. And so I'm like, okay, I've got 15 minutes somewhere. And then same thing with this point class. Honestly, if you go through it all, it could probably take like five to 10 minutes. So we can really, we can admit that we can find that kind of time in our day for ourselves and to keep in shape. So I don't know if you guys were like me, but I really haven't done anything much today um, yet. So we can warm up a little bit together to just kind of get our bodies going. But um, one of the things that Rex and I actually use often is just like a hypervolt and there's so many different, um, designs for this and I'm sure you guys have seen it but it's a really cool way to just get your muscles moving so I've done my calves a little bit um, but it just helps you know bring a lot of blood flow to your body so you can hit your IT bands um, you can hit your calf muscles you can hit your butt muscles and I'm sure when we finally get back into the studios we're gonna be sore for weeks so it might be something to invest in um, like I said there's all kinds of different companies that do something like this and I've actually seen people make them at home so it's pretty cool but it's just a good way to like I said to get blood flow going and to help you warm up without um, you know destroying your body right away off the bat in the morning so um, just something that we do um, so we can just warm up together just a few things so the first thing we're gonna do is um, put our right foot back we're just gonna stretch out our calves for eight counts you can be facing your bar so we try to order a bar, we try to order some Marley, and it's just completely backordered. So I'm still using a kitchen mat and chairs, and it's totally okay. So we can do whatever we need to do. So you can face your bar or not. We're gonna do eight counts stretching out the calves. And just try um, to get those knees over your toes and as wide as you can go while keeping your heel on the ground. So let's count one and two and three and four and five and six, and seven, and eight. Next we're gonna pick up our, th our foot, and we're gonna bring our foot to our butts, but we're really gonna try to keep our knees together and maintain a nice high standing leg. So we're pulling up in our lower abs, we're lengthening our lower back. So we're just gonna hold that for eight counts. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Then we're gonna prance through our feet. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, in a deep plie in six position, and straighten up. We're gonna stay in six, we're gonna plie, we're gonna do a beautiful porter bow to the side, and two, and three, and four, and you're gonna roll through your upper back, five, six, seven, take a deep breath, on eight, you're gonna go forward, one, and two, and three, and four, and here, you guys don't force anything, just like gravity, pull your head down. Plie, and straighten up, and plie, and 
and straighten up. Make sure you're breathing. Roll through the vertebrae, every single one. Take a breath. You're gonna drop your arm to go back. Just your upper back, so don't go too far into your lower spine. You're gonna turn or tondu out, parallel stretch. We'll stay here for about eight counts. You guys, I have my right foot front, so make sure you're pulling up on that right hip so you're uh, it's nice and square. That's how you get the most bang for your buck with the hamstring stretch. So let's stay here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's go all the way down for our hip flexor. Let's stay parallel. And let's just put our knee on the ground. And we'll stay here for eight counts. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Okay, let's do the left side. So same thing, just follow along. It's nice and simple. Eight counts stretching out the calves. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Pick up the foot. One, and two, and three. Like I said, nice and high on your standing leg, pulling in those lower abs, lengthening the back. Six, and seven. Get your knees together. Eight. Prance. When I say prance, I want to see you push your ankle bone forward. So I'm not bubbling. I'm definitely not sickling. I mean literally to the front. So we start to get those ankles stretched. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Plie and six. One, three, two and three. Over to the bar. Four with the upper back. Five and six and seven. Take a deep breath, forward one, and two, and three, and four, and plie, and straighten up, and plie, and straighten up, and roll through the spine, five, six, seven, and you're going to drop your arm to go back, just open the chest, come on up, time to go up, parallel stretch, eight counts, one, two, three. Like I said, pull up on that left hip if your left leg is forward so that we're nice and square. We get the most bang for our buck back here. And let's go all the way down for our hip flexor. It counts. Okay. So if you're just joining in, um, I'm Allison DeBone. I'm a first soloist with Ballet West. I also own and direct RD Motion. We're actually going to go through a quick um, point class, five or six combinations that you can find time to do every single day. Because like I was saying, um, I'm still really busy even though I'm home all day um, between my one-year-old and my business. So I've just tried to condense as many things so that I have time for myself to keep in shape. Um, we're just doing a few things to just warm up our bodies. I haven't done anything yet. Then we'll get into our point shoes. And you know what? If you don't have point shoes, if you're a dude and you don't have point shoes, all of these exercises we're gonna do are gonna strengthen the calves, gonna strengthen the ankles, gonna strengthen, strengthen the toes. So really we can all do this, point shoes or not, and it's gonna be great for you. But before we do, let's just do some grand plies and second with a little bit more stretching. So five, six, seven, and eight. Let's ground plie together. One, and two, and three, and four. Let's drop the head and go to the right. Five, six, seven, and eight. Ground plie again. One, and two, and three, and four. Drop the head, go to the left. Five, six, seven, and eight. Again, ground. This is just to get our little legs warmed up just a bit. Three and four. To the left. Over. Come up. And pretend like you're placing your hand on the bar. Again, one and two and three and four. Let's go the other direction to not fall over. Make sure both arms are reaching equally. One last time. One and two and three, and four, just do a little combo back. 
and up. And grand plie, one and two and three and four. And let's combo right the other way. Okay, so just to get our legs warmed up a bit. So I want to talk about this. Um, while I was pregnant and coming back from having a baby, it's really, really difficult um, for our bodies to even begin to think about ballet again and proper alignment and everything that we know. Um, so I did a lot of gyrotonic and I worked with a woman named Bree. She owns um, Movement Design Lab here in Salt Lake City. And one of the things that we were doing my entire pregnancy as I gained 75 pounds. So imagine <laughs> um, that. So I needed to keep my ankles strong and I needed them to be able to handle the weight that I was gaining with my baby. So um, we did a lot of elevates in sixth position. And as you guys can see, I have bowed legs. So my entire life, I've always been told to, um, you know, use the back of my legs, bring my knees together. And I, you know, like, I've always thought my knees, my knees, my knees. But what she reminded me is that it's also important for us to rotate our ankles. And it's just, it clicked. I was like, oh my gosh, I never actually think about that. I never think about making sure that I'm rotating all the way down into my ankles. And what that does when you elevate and elevate is it keeps the weight evenly and you properly are using your big toe. It's, it's really, really good stuff. So if you have anything right now just like around you, um, this could help. But if not, it's okay, you don't need it, but it, it helps me. So we're just gonna do 16 elevates and I'm gonna hold this between my ankles so that I don't forget to rotate my entire leg, which like I said, includes the ankles. So this is before we put on our shoes, we're just gonna um, work our feet a little. So you're gonna go one and down and two and down and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Um, if you wanna do plie releves, you can too, but I'm gonna to stick to elevates. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and last one eight so um do these all day you guys <laughs> um point shoes or not like i said rotate the ankles just as much as you're thinking about your thighs and your knees rotating so it's a really good exercise to keep you in check with alignment so if you have your point shoes, let's put them on. Like I said, you don't need point shoes to do what we're going to do. We're just going to work through about five or six combinations that we can do to just keep our ankles in check and our calves in check. And um, like I said, it's hard still to find time for yourselves. I'm sure some of you guys are having to do schoolwork and maybe your parents are making you do a lot of house chores now. I don't know but um, 10 minutes you can find for point. So I wear Grishko's, you guys, um, always have, but in my shoe I only wear a box liner, and I think these are Gainer Minden's box liners that I buy. Um, so I don't do much in my shoe. I like to feel the floor as much as possible, but I do wear a toe spacer because I have like a huge gap between my first toe and my second toe, so in case you were wondering, um, like I said, I don't do much in my shoe. So let's strap on these coffins. That's what I call them, especially these days. Um, isn't it so annoying how quickly the point work wants to go and we don't do it every day? It's so frustrating. Um, but we're all in this together. Okay, so if you guys wanna jot these combos down, they're literally things I've been doing since I was a kid in school. Um, so really simple, simple stuff. We're not going crazy. Um, like I said, I'm on a kitchen mat with some chairs. Um, just be careful at home, you guys. Don't do anything too dangerous. Like. 
You don't want to be kicking things. I know that some people are making jokes about kicking their dogs by accident and their cats, so it's so funny, but um, just be careful, okay? So the first combination we're going to do are just what, like what we call prances. We're going to do this combination in sixth position, and then we're going to move to first. So I'll show you once, and then we'll do it together. So you're going to do five, six. You're going to roll through your feet, seven, eight. You're going to just prance over one, and two, and three and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. You're gonna roll through the foot plie. Two counts, you're gonna keep your knees where they are. Push your ankles forward, now keep your heels where they are. And up, lift and lower. So we're gonna do that twice in sixth, and then we're gonna move it to first. And you guys, um, it's super important to articulate your foot the entire combination. So I don't wanna just see I actually can't see you, but I'm imagining as if I could. <laughs> I don't want to just see this. I want to see you go through the half toe in every direction so that we're really articulating our feet, including when we plie. And then as we plie, go as deep as you can. Try to keep your knees there. Push your ankles out. And then your job is to give yourself a cramp in your calf because you're holding your ankles um, where you are in plie. So, okay, let's do six position, five and six, roll up, seven and eight, prance one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight, two counts plie, roll through the feet and straighten up, lift and lower, seven, left side. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, through the foot, two counts, and roll, two counts, lift up, lift and lower, open to first, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Two counts, and two. Roll through the feet, push your plie. Straighten up, lift and lower. Last time left, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Plie, nice and deep, push your plie. And through the foot, Plie, rise it up, lift and lower. Okay, I sewed my ribbons too tight over here. So you guys, um, yesterday I was doing a private lesson with a student and she's young and she hasn't been on point very long. I was virtually doing a private lesson and she asks me, I sometimes get confused when you tell me roll through my foot, what does that mean? And I was like, okay. Very valid question. So we always hear that, roll through our feet, roll through our feet. And for me, what I like to think about, hi, <laughs> what I like to think about is um, when you're up on your shoe, there is a moment at the very beginning of rolling down where you are thinking that your toes are starting to break, but you are keeping your heel up as high as you can. And that's just a small moment in time before you start to bend the knees. So um, here's an example of what not to do. So like just coming down. And I don't see like um, any kind of uh, hydraulic system. I guess you could think about it that way. So when you start to come down, you want to think there's a moment where you're like so high up, you start to break your toes and then you relax into the plie. So that's what I mean by rolling through the foot. You need to articulate the muscles in the bottom of the feet. That's what helps you get strong for part of the work. Um, I mean, for everything. Uh, so let's move on to combination number two. And these are just like simple elevates in first and in second. Then we'll take a really short break and we'll do the same thing in plie or eleve. So um, this is a calf burner, it's a butt burner. Yes, we know. We have to deal with it. So let's just do it together. So like I'm gonna repeat one more time. 
Eight elevés in first, that's no plié. Eight elevés in second, we'll take a really short break. We'll do eight relevés in first and eight relevés in second, okay? So five, six, seven, here we go. Pop it up, lift and lower, and two, and three, and four, and five. Guys, work the back of the leg down, and six, and seven, and eight. Just adjust your feet, two, second, and up. Heels forward by using the back of the legs. Three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Good, shake it out. You can do a little calf stretch if you need to, um, whatever feels good. Let's do the same thing with plie relevé. So, like I said, hydraulic system on the way down. And it's really nice when you're holding on to something and you're not just in center trying to navigate that. So if you can figure it out with a bar or with a partner, um, it's always nice. So here we go. Eight plie relevés in first and eight second. Plie, up, plie, up. Three, and four, and five, six, and seven, and eight. Lower, tendu, alice comb, plie, and two, and three, and four, and five, lift, six, seven, eight. Cool. Okay, check it out. Okay, so the next combination, I should have got water. Do you guys have water? <laughs> um, the next combination is gonna be also for uh, more control, but just to kind of feel again the backs of the legs. So why that's important, you guys, if we're not rolling down by engaging when I say the back of the leg, which is basically the turnout, that means we're probably not using the full foot. So that's how you end up getting on point and like beveling towards your big foot or sickling. We have to consider when we're on point that your entire leg is working and two places in the leg that I often tell my students to get in touch with because it's easy to forget are the muscles above the knee and behind the knee. So we have to all, obviously always be thinking about pulling up the kneecaps with these muscles here, but it's important to not forget about behind the knee. So we're just gonna start <laughs> the place we never wanna start, which is a face fifth. <laughs> and we're gonna, without plie, so these are no plie, all just little elevates. We're gonna rise up, switch, and lower. Rise up and lower. Rise up and lower. Rise up and lower. Four more. Up and lower and up and lower and up and lower and up and lower. And lower. So you guys, um, that was combination number three. Literally eight just up and lowers. You can do 16, you can do 32, whatever it is. But so far, we've done prances, six, six, first, first. We've done eight elevés in first, eight elevés in second, eight relevés in first, eight relevés in second. And then, I don't know, I call these poppers because <laughs> that's literally what we're doing. We're like popping up and down and up and down. And you can make it fun. Shoop, shoop, shoop. So anything to make it interesting. So that's combination number three, okay? Um, combination number four. Let's do, if you can, like I said, um, I have a mat, I'm spoiled, we're always on Marley floor. So like being on like hardwood floor, slippery floor, like no thank you. But if you are, just be careful. We're really simply gonna do plie, you should pick, plie, you should pick, Plie, it's a pig, plie, su, su. Again. Uh huh. Uh huh. And up. Super, 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 super simple stuff. So, you guys, what we want to avoid, 
and it's like a hop up, a hop up. We don't want to do that. And so challenge yourself to try to like stay on the floor um, as long as you can in like a plie. So think out. And then both feet together, su su. Okay, so I'm moving around here with my chairs. But um, hang on to your bar, because this is a bar. They're kind of sure for me, I want to let go, but for the sake of saying it's a point bar, let's hold on. So plie, échappé, 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 su su, échappé, 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 su su. Okay, five, six, seven, eight, shoo, and two. And use your eight palm up, and up, and up, up, and su su. So, super, super simple. Combination number four. Do that as many times as you like. Échappé, 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 su su, échappé, 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 su su. Okay, so that was four. Number five, um, this is just like for all of us who want to do all the grand pas and the very first beautiful su su with your partner. So, um, we're gonna start with the right foot front. You're just gonna roll up, open plie. So your foot is gonna be like a paintbrush, slurping up to fifth, open plie. Let's do that four times. One, and down, straight, and shoot, and down. I always make noises, because it reminds me of like, the feeling that I want to have when I'm doing these things. So beautifully happening, relaxing. So that was the right, let's do the left. And up, plie, and shoop, plie. Again, shoop, plie, last time. Up, plie. So that was just a little inner thigh reminder. Plie. So that was number five. So to recap, number one, prances. Sixth and first with the roll up. Deep plie, keep your knees where they are, straighten up. Number two, elevates and releves. Super simple, but a butt buster. Number three, what did we do? Um, we did the pops. Up, down, passe, or excuse me, a fosse, a fosse. Eight times, sixteen times. That was plié, échappé, 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 su su. Okay? You can do that twice, four times, whatever makes you happy. So listen, the last thing um, we're going to do is just a way to strengthen that part of the foot, the ankle, that place that we reach right before we touch the ground. And those are those little, 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 little muscles in our feet, in our calves, and everywhere um, that we often don't think about. So I want you to consider that you don't want to smash a pea, like literally a little pea. We all love to eat them. So when I say barely off the floor, I literally mean that, a little bit like a pea. So you're going to find at home now what's going to start to happen as you fatigue, because this is going to seem easy and it's not, is that the backs of your legs are going to start to release and you're going to want to turn in. Probably not that bad, <laughs> but what's going to happen is you're going to start to go woo. -hoo -hoo. So what's awesome about this combo is that we are engaging the backs of our legs and our butts for a long time and we're going to talk to ourselves through it and you're gonna say, I'm not gonna let go of my butt muscles. Okay, you guys? So let's go to first. And listen, to keep myself in check and also to show camaraderie with the rest of you, I'm gonna do it to the side so that you can see my fight to stay turned out, okay? So we're gonna to go to first position and for 30 seconds, we're gonna lift just a pea size off the ground. We're gonna hold one. Two, three, four, five, six, squeeze your butts, seven, engage the abs, nine, 
10 ribs in, 11, 12, fight, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10 more, 10, 9, 8, don't let that turn and happen, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now pulse, 10, 9, P size off the ground, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 10 more counts, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, I hope you feel the burn, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax, okay you guys, I need to know the truth, how did that go down there, <laughs> was it painful, because if it was, that means you're doing it well, can I get any, any feedback down there about the pain, the butt pain, Okay, maybe you guys are in better shape than me. God bless. Um, okay, so that's all for today, you guys. Like I said, this is for <laughs> this is for the people. Oh, okay, now we're weighing in. Okay, good. So <laughs> this is for the people like me who are still finding it hard to fit in time for yourselves, you guys. So five or six super simple point combinations. The last time we will recap. So... Prances in sixth, plie roll through, plie roll through, twice in sixth, twice in first, prance, 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 articulate between every step, I need to see the half toe, half toes and point shoes matter, okay, and if your shoes are too hard, good, we can get rid of that, and for me what I do is I use rubbing alcohol, I don't use water because water like stains your shoes most of the time, rubbing alcohol all around the bunion area of the shoe and then take a hammer and pound those babies out okay so six six first first then we do eight elevates in first eight elevates in second eight relevates in first eight relevates in second okay you have to do that you can't skip out you can do more but you can never do less okay then we do our pops a plus a fifth position pop and down so no plie and lift, you can use your head, a palm off, feel beautiful, doing a nice simple step with that. At least eight, you're happy to do more if you can. Then we have plié, a chape, a chape, a chape, su su. At least four times, you guys. And then last but not least, our little butt muncher um, and our turnout muncher. Uh, first position, you guys, a pea size off the floor, okay? We hold that for 30 seconds, then we pulse for 10. Um, and then a hold for another 10 seconds, okay? So you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, like I said, I am proud of all of you for staying home and advocating to your family and friends like I know you are to do the same. It's super important for all of us to do our part so that we can get back on stage together. I'm very passionate about it. My company, Artie Motion, started the social distancing stand pain. Stand means it's slang for standing up for something that's important to you. And um, because I want to be back on stage, and I know you guys do too, and um, it what makes our world go around and others. And I just want to like leave with this last sentiment: um, the ballet world, you know, in many parts of the world, um, companies struggle to get people in seats. They're maybe not finding it as interesting to watch as well, I don't know movies or anything like that. I couldn't imagine. But I really feel like through this crazy crisis, people are coming to the arts for um, an outlet, mentally and physically. And I think that the arts are going to grow from this. Afterwards, people are going to be running to the theaters to see you. And um, just remember that you're making a difference by staying home. Again, thank you so much, Zerli, um, Ruben, Katrina. Thank you for inviting me to do this. I'm happy to offer this. Um, we do a lot at Artie Motion. It's Artie Motion USA. We have a free class every day, one hour. Principals from around the world, just like many um, people are doing. And so join us, but join anyone. And you guys are lucky to have so many beautiful principal ballet dancers offering their homes to you. Um, I love you all. Have a great day. I'm gonna share this um, on the Instagram story for 24 hours and on mine probably, but um, take care. Okay, bye.